Uh, I'm shaking my head at you people. <laughs> Not 96% of you. 96% of you thumbed up my video about why I and Jimmy are going to the memorial. But some of the comments, I just, oh, I'm shaking my head at some of the things people think. Have you not watched any of my other videos? If you think I'm going to the memorial because I'm supporting the Watchtower, or because I'm not fully awake or out, you've lost your damn mind. You haven't seen anything that I've said in the other videos. Let me be clear, very crystal clear, in case you missed the memo somehow, and this is only to the people who have left all the negative comments, I am going to the memorial. Jimmy is going to the memorial in order to record it so that we can talk about it in a video and demonstrate how it is not at all the way that celebration or that memorial, as they call it, mass, communion, it's not at all the way it should be. We're going to show it for what it is, a black Mass where Jesus is rejected by people because they don't drink the wine and eat the bread. And of course, we are going to go there to also talk to people and see how things have changed to show the public who is not familiar with it. Because a lot of people watch my videos that have never been witnesses. They're just interested. Let them see what it's really like and how it's not at all the embodiment of what Jesus wanted in the gospel when he had the Last Supper. And for those of you who say, well, you're just bolstering Watchtower's numbers, do you really think that any of the numbers that Watchtower is publishing at this point are real at all? I mean, they lie in court under oath. Do you really think that the numbers they're publishing in their magazines are correct. Do you not think that if the numbers to the memorial aren't what they wanted, that they would just lie and make it look like more than it was? Oh man, you guys are driving me crazy. You're not really driving me crazy. I just read some of the comments and I laugh <clears throat> because clearly you miss the purpose of why Jimmy and I are going to the memorial. Now it's true, I have massive amounts of compassion for the rank and file, just like I talked about in the last video. And I would never judge them or mistreat them or cause a scene or do anything like that. But it's very important that people see that what the Watchtower presents in the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses is not at all like what the Bible or the gospel says in any way. Now, it doesn't matter if you're not a Christian, if you don't believe in God, if you're an atheist or anything. It's still very important for people who are Christians, for people who still believe as Jehovah's Witnesses, but maybe they have doubts, to be presented with evidence demonstrating why what they think of as the memorial celebration is just all wrong. And it's also important to demonstrate that it's very boring. Like, I don't know about you guys, but the memorial, as important as it was labeled when I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses, was one of the most boring events. Everybody always looked forward to it being over and us going out to dinner, out to eat somewhere. And that was the fun time. Like, we got to go out to eat or whatever with our friends, that kind of thing. The memorial asks all of Jehovah's Witnesses, except for very, very few people who believe they are anointed, to just sit and watch emblems pass that have nothing to do with them, because the Watchtower teaches that you don't take the drink the wine or eat the bread unless you were anointed and going to heaven. So it's completely pointless for you to be there, really, because you're just sitting there watching this stuff go past you, and you're not doing anything with it. And in doing that, you are actually rejecting the body and blood of Jesus Christ. So when people get in the comments and think 
that I am at all still in any way connected to the Watchtower or believe that what they're doing is correct or I'm not going there for the sole purpose of exposing this religion. It just makes me shake my head. I understand if you're triggered. Now that I get. Some people said that they could never go back. They could never walk into a kingdom hall. They could never do it. I respect that completely. The trauma that many of Jehovah's Witnesses were put through and ex-Jehovah's Witnesses still deal with, I totally understand that. I do not have that trauma. I am long, long, long since over it. Jimmy does not have that trauma. He has long since over it. And so we have no problems walking back into the hall, experiencing the memorial and all its boredom and rejection of Jesus and black massness in order to demonstrate to people outside what it's really all about and why it's just wrong. And for all of those who ask, because a lot of people ask, and I really should have said this in the last video, yes, Jimmy and I will be partaking because I'm not going to a memorial, to the mass, to communion, and not partaking of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. If I was not a true believer, I would still do that because I'm not going to go to a celebration that's supposed to honor this person who was a wonderful figure in history, who did amazing things, who loved the downtrodden, the poor, the sick, and the hungry, who spoke truth to power, who died for the cause that he believed in and not honor him in the way he asked to be honored. Keep doing this in remembrance of me. So of course we are going to partake of the emblems while we're there. And that's also important to me because my father believed he was one of the anointed. And I grew up my whole life watching him partake. And in a way for me, it also honors my father and what he believed to be true because I genuinely believe now, now that I've left the religion, looking back on my dad and what he believed, his religion was quite different from the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses. And I credit him partially for why I woke up from it, because my dad, my father, taught me that God, who he called Jehovah, was a God of love and compassion and kindness. He treated other people that way. My dad helped people in the Kingdom Hall all the time. He would help people who were just studying. This one lady, I'll never forget, she was bedridden at home. And there was a problem. This was when we were living in Louisiana. There was a problem with the state sending the money she was supposed to get to have a nurse come to her house to take care of her every day. And she was studying with the witnesses. And so dad, every morning we get up at the crack of dawn go to her house, clean her house, cook her food, spend time with her, take care of whatever she needed done because at the time he was on disability and was retired, even though he was in pain himself because he had a bad back and he had these problems because he cared about people. So I grew up watching my loving, caring, compassionate, wonderful father, who I used to say was the second greatest man to walk the earth next to Jesus. And I was taught his religion, which had a lot of parallels with the Watchtower and what they taught. But when it came to what really mattered, to love, kindness, compassion, the true purpose of the gospel, the biggest themes in the gospel, my father lived up to what I thought a Christian was supposed to be. And when I saw that the elders in the Watchtower corporation did not live up to those things. That's what woke me up. That's what got me out. So I definitely credit my father, at least in part, for my own waking up. And so for me, going to the memorial, partaking of the emblems, helping other people see that if you're going to go to communion, you need to partake. If you believe you are a Christian, you need to partake. It doesn't matter if you think you're going to heaven or not. It doesn't matter if you think there's a paradise or so. It doesn't matter. If you are a Christian, then Jesus is your mediator too. Not just 
for the anointed, not just for some special class that's better than you in some way, but he's your mediator. And that means you express your faith and belief and trust in that by partaking. And so I both honor Jesus and I honor my father by going back and partaking. <laughs> and the rest of you people, <laughs> with your comments, just chill. I get it if you're triggered. That I understand. I understand if you're triggered, and I have great compassion for that. But you people who really think that I'm not out just because I'm going back to the memorial, you don't think I've fully woken up just because I'm going to the memorial, go back and watch some of my videos, please. Educate yourself a little bit. <laughs> about all the things that I'm saying in my videos before you make those kinds of ridiculous accusations. And I, again, the vast majority have been very supportive. 96% upvote, so I know the vast majority are supportive. They know what I'm trying to do. They've seen Jimmy and me in the past on the roundtables. They understand. For the rest of you, come on, man. Come on. I mean, wow. Wow. I'm just floored by some of you. But there's also been a ton of support, and I really appreciate you guys who are very supportive. And I understand if you misunderstood my purpose, maybe I wasn't clear enough. I, I'm not a witness anymore. I totally accept that maybe I wasn't clear enough. Maybe you misunderstood what I said. Maybe I didn't say it well. But please hear me now, loud and clear. We are going to expose the watchtower, to show people why it's like a black mass, and it is not at all the way communion is supposed to be, to show people that we are partaking as you are supposed to do if you believe you are a Christian, or even if you don't fully believe, to honor the person that the ceremony is for, to talk to people, to see how things have changed, if at all, and to demonstrate to the public all of these very important things that Jimmy and I think are very important. So that's why we're doing it. Not because we still believe, not because we care about the Watchtower's numbers, because they lie about all their numbers, and this is not going to be different. They lie under oath, they'll lie about their numbers. Not because we have any remnants left of belief that the Watchtower organization is in any way the instrument of God on earth. None of those things. So y'all just chill. Just chill. We're going for all the right reasons. And we're going to go tomorrow night. Now, it might take a while before I can get the video produced. Because I have a day job. Jimmy has a day job. We have to schedule time after we record it to talk about all the pieces. And then for me to do the production of the video and to get it out. That's going to take a while. This is not a, a small endeavor on our part. So I'm not sure how long that'll be, but I will get it out as quick as I can, but it might even take a couple of weeks. I don't know. But as soon as I do know, I will let you know. For all those people who have been supportive and positive, thank you very much. You know, I love you guys and I support you all. For those of you who have been <laughs> negative or misunderstanding, I love you too. But please, no, we have the right motive here. We're doing this for the right reason. Go back look at my other videos, see the things I've said, and try to understand. And as always, thanks for watching.